Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, we're gonna be exploring our KeyPad database security system with our Raspberry Pi. I have here a setup of my Raspberry Pi, a keypad, a keypad, a membrane keypad, an I2C LCD, and a servo with a door lock mechanism. Once I enter or click something in my keypad, like this, BC9876, then it, it gets displayed on the LCD, and then I press the hash key in my keypad, then this key code gets validated in our database. So it's now checking, and it says it's a valid key code. And then, as you can see, my servo motor opens the door lock and then closes it after 5 seconds. I will show you a sample entries in my database. So, as you can see, only the VC9876 is inserted in my database. If I key in a key code that is not present, in the database, like the A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I click the hash key, then it says it's checking, and then it says that it is an invalid key code, which means that that key code, A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, is not present in our database. However, key code, in our database, by using this Postman REST API testing tool, like this one, which is the AB1234, and then I click Send, you see that it is set, successfully set through, and it's now created a record in our database. When I refresh it right now, you would see that the AB1234 is now added in our database. Right now, since we have already added the AB1234 the AB in our database, then the expectation is that this servo motor should open the door lock. So let's try entering the AB1234. A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we click the hash key. Then it says it's now a valid key code. And it opens up now our door lock and then closes after 5 seconds. We can also clear our inputted door lock by clicking the asterisk key here. So it's now key. Or if we inputted key codes that exceeds mo the more than 6, like this one, then it says that it is exceeded the limit. We have used Python in programming this full project and this is sim similar to the ESP32 project that I did earlier, which you can find in the description of my video. Are you excited? Then let's start exploring. So, let's discuss a little bit about the overall design of our Keypad database security system using our Raspberry Pi. As you can see, this is the overall design of our project and there are three major components that we need to take a look at. One is the Raspberry Pi and the hardware interfaces, the REST API server, and the MongoDB Atlas database server. The Raspberry Pi and the has hardware interfaces is consists of the following components, which is the servo, connected to a door lock mechanism, a keypad to enter the keys, and an I2C LCD to display whatever keys are being inputted in my keypad. Then, in the keypad connections, we are restricting the length of the key codes to be 6, and any combination of letters and numbers are allowed. The asterisk key is used to clear our input, while the pound sign or the hash sign is used to validate our key codes with that of our database. The REST API server is a web service built using Node.js and it defines several endpoints that, that our Raspberry Pi can call to pass in the key code 
entered by the user and then validate it in our database. We have deployed this REST API server locally in our laptop workstation, but we are able to deploy it in our other cloud solutions like AWS, Azure, or etc. The MongoDB database is our the last component in our project which stores the list of our valid key codes. We are using MongoDB Atlas as our database here to store our list of key codes. MongoDB stores data in flexible JSON-like documents and is free to use for small applications. The illustration below is will explain how the message flows through the different components in our project. So number one, the user inputs a key code to the keypad. Two, the Raspberry Pi receives the key code and calls the REST API server, server and point passing in the key code. The REST API server queries the MongoDB database to check if the key code is present in our database. In this case, is BC9876 presence. The MongoDB database returns a JSON response that includes the key code details. So this is an example of our JSON response. So we have here a success, which is true, and a message which successfully retrieved key code records. Once these details is retrieved by the MongoDB, then the REST API server returns a JSON response back to our Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will parse the JSON response and will check if the key code is allowed or not. Then it tells the servo to open or close the door lock. The code for this one is available in my GitHub repository, which is in the Donsky Tech Raspberry Pi projects. And the name of the project is the Raspberry Pi Keypad Database Security System. The project is composed of only one file, which is a Python file called the main.py. So, if you want to take a look at how this project works, then you can SSH into your Raspberry Pi and then clone your my project in there. And then inside my project, once you are finished cloning the project, then you can see that you can run the project by using sudo python and then main.py. As you can see, it says that you can now begin pressing buttons on our keypad. If I press the key code right now, which is like B, C, nine, eight, seven, six, and then I click the hash sign, you would see that it's now connecting to our REST API server and says that it's a valid key code. So it opens the lock, and then after five seconds, it closes the lock. So that's it for the code. And if you wanted to see the code, then just look into my GitHub repository and take a look at each part of the code. The companion write-up, which is in the description of this video, will explain to you how this code works. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring! Hi! If you like the videos that I have created, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and other social media channels. Hit the not notification button so that you will get notified for new contents. Please do comment, like, and share. Happy exploring!